think half whenever Hurricane I came, and we really thought it'd be fun to bring them down to Galveston and let them learn about the wetland system uh, firsthand. Um, it's through the environmental systems class. So PPT parts for thousands. So these students have been studying different um, pieces of the environment all year. Put that cap on and just shake it up for me. Yes. First, we did the water quality test. We learned some ecological environmental stuff, like uh, how to test for pH, how to test for salinity, how to test for different like nitrate levels in the water, and that was really cool. All the cool ways to like measure the pH balance in the water and stuff. I never knew that. It was really exciting. Like I didn't know there had to be a certain way the water was for fish to live. I just thought they lived. It's all about hands-on and, and relative experiences because we're going to learn by doing. They come on a four-hour field event by kayak. And um, usually they do a bit of science through water quality testing and identifying the wildlife that we see. We're gonna go around the bay and we'll see how well y'all are doing. They also learn how to paddle and work as a team because we all have, we have all tandem kayaks. So it also builds a lot of communication skills and team building skills. Away from here, uh, after they've paddled for about two hours, everyone is taught how to make a plain air watercolor painting. And so the students have about 40, 45 minutes to sit and hear how quiet it is and to uh, reflect on what they're seeing and kind of translate that through a visual medium. It's a very old tradition. Uh, naturalists used it and so did Van Gogh. It's a combination of letting the kids, you know, um, express themselves through the art as well. I mean, they're learning so many things while they're here, so it's wonderful, wonderful project.